Hi, I'm Persia. And I'm Joey. And you are watching an Addictive Daughter Life Nugget. So, the other day, and by the other day I mean the other week, um, I was really fortunate to be given two free tickets to go and see the Arctic Monkeys gig in Finsbury Park of London, uh, which was really exciting. Except for the fact that I was feeling a little bit nervous because festival atmospheres for me when I was a party animal several years ago were, was an environment that I really just went a little bit crazy in. I would often wake up in some armpit of London the next day next to some bloke that I could not recall the name of. Um, I don't know why that was. I don't know if it was a mixture of the mud, possibly the open air, the bulmers. Uh, festival fever festival, we call it. Festival fever. I just got a little bit overexcited. Um, and this time when I was going to Arctic Monkeys um, Firstly, I broke up with my boyfriend a couple of months ago, so I was feeling a little bit vulnerable. Um, and also, I was going with a girlfriend that I used to really get on it with, and she was a fellow partier. Um, so I just didn't know how this evening was going to go, and I was feeling quite nervous. Um, but I put some really clear boundaries for myself before we went. Um, we met some guys there, had a hilarious time with them, uh, but nothing happened. We went home at midnight, and I woke up the next day feeling great. So, the message behind this life nugget is if you want to go out and have an amazing time with your girlfriends and, you know, just really have a proper laugh but wake up the next day not regretting your behaviour from the night before, we've got some tips for you. We've got three to-dos of today for you and the first one is, as I've said, make some really clear boundaries for yourself. What under no circumstances is not allowed to happen tonight. So, for example, for me, I knew that what was not going to happen was me waking up with some bloke. I was really clear that I wanted to wake up with my friend at a reasonable hour feeling, you know, not horrendous. Um, and that happened. Uh, so the second thing that kind of links to that is uh, you've got to really decide on what you're going to do around your substance intake. So I decided that I was going to really not drink all the alcohol under the sun. Um, I was going to limit the drinks I was having and be really aware. Um, and also keep hydrated and not do some of the old crazy kind of party antics that I used to do, if you know what I mean. So it's really important actually, like especially if you're going through a vulnerable time, if you've been, you know, broken up with or have broken up with someone, um, you can feel vulnerable and I think we've all been there when we kind of go out on a night out and you're either celebrating freedom or you just want to get out of your head on drink or drugs because you feel horrendous and you want to forget about it and those are the times that we really need to protect ourselves and, and put some boundaries in place especially around substance uh, because obviously it can lead to some crazy things if you're not careful. Yeah. And the third and final to-do of today is to ask your friend to be your wing woman in a positive way. So I said to my friends <laughs> before I went, I just said, you know what I used to be like? I used to be a nightmare. You've seen the worst of it. Please just watch my back and just, you know, don't let that happen if at all possible. And it's so nice to have that mutual support. And it should be mutual, may I add. It shouldn't be friend will you make sure that you take responsibility for me tonight and it's you know the onus is on you to make sure I'm okay it's not about that being a sober person myself who hasn't drunk for a couple of years there have been instances where my friends have almost expected me to look after them and um, that's not what we're advocating here but definitely a mutual support where you look out for your friend she looks out for you and if it looks like it's getting a bit messy one says to the other let's go home <laughs> darling let's go home let's go bed. home yeah, exactly, which has happened with us. We went home at midnight, which is bloody first for me in that sort of environment, let me tell you. So now we would love to hear from you. Do you have any other tips to uh, for the other addictive daughters out there that can help them not wake up full of shame and regret from the antics the night before? Please post them below. If you like this life nugget, please do like it and you can subscribe to our YouTube channel. And as well, if you know any other addictive daughters who do like a party, then uh, please pass this on to them. It may be of use. Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like a life nugget and a weekly dose of happiness and motivation straight to your inbox, sign up at addictivedaughter.com and join us and thousands of others in getting addicted to the good stuff today.